Zen of learning. What makes learning so interesting and what are the techniques why we say it is much more important to boost our memory rather than to merely read something. So we have a very interesting concept that talks about associative memory. Let's say you are seeing things around you. Uh, a student who goes to a school is being visualized with a cat and then he is being asked to write CAT CAT. So there is an associative memory. The child knows how to write the word CAT, pronounce the word CAT CAT and then also visualize the word CAT. And that is how we build our associative memories. So to build the associative memory, we have a very interesting curve that has been explained and that is the Edgar's Daily's Cone of Experience. Now this Cone of Experience talks about some very interesting phenomena and those are what we read, what we hear, what we see, what we do makes learning such a fun. Now how does this actually happen? So first of all, under the Daily's curve, it was said that only 10% of what we read is remembered by us. So whenever you are reading something, take into account that you would have to do series of reading of a textbook or any notes that you are trying to do and 10% of it would be retained. So in order to increase the retention, what all techniques can you apply? So here is the next technique. You can either hear what is being explained so let's say this video itself, you switch off the audio and you are simply listening to it. In the case that you are simply listening to it, 20% of what you would hear would be remembered by you. And that's why little children, if you see, you would find that they hear a lot of stories from their grandparents, great grandparents. And in this manner, they are able to remember a lot of things which they have never visualized or never experienced in their life. Probably the cultures of the time of their grandparents. So 20% of what you hear is actually remembered. Now when it comes to visualizing, 30% of what you visualize is being remembered. So let's say you are not simply listening this video. So you are seeing what happens. So here what we are trying to do is we are simply trying to explain that by watching a video you remember 30% of it. So either you are visualizing it through images, you are watching image, uh, videos, those are some of the ways that improve your memory or boost your memory. The next important thing is you watch a demonstration. Let's say uh, I'm trying to explain a science experiment of the proportion of carbohydrate, how to test carbohydrates or fats or minerals or vit vitamins in certain cases and I bring certain experiments here. So what would happen when you do those experiments or uh, let's move, let's keep doing at a separate end. But if you are watching that demonstration that I am doing here, that would definitely improve your learning, your memory. So 50% of what you see through demonstrations, what you see in exhibitions would be remembered or would be imprinted into your minds. The next is if I'm not doing the demonstration, I'm asking you to do the demonstration, 70% of it would be remembered. So let's say there is the same experiment I do. I bring a potato, cut it, put a drop of iodine and explain that this is how we test the presence of carbohydrate, the Potato turns blue black in color. Now that time 50% of it was remembered. But you take a uh, potato, you cut it, you put pour a drop of iodine and you see the color changing. Then 70% of it would be remembered. So when, when you are doing hands-on activities, participation, collaborative lectures, that is where we have 70% retention that actually occurs. And on the top, if you want to have the best retention, simulate. Bring in experiences, bring in models, design 
create presentations do the real things and when you are doing the real things then definitely 90% of it would be remembered a very simple example to quote here is let's say i am telling you how to cook there are numerous channels where you would find numerous dishes being cooked so what you would remember is a little of it but once you think that i want to prepare this tonight and you give it a try by yourself what would happen you would remember 90% of it so that is how we progress on a learning curve so Edgar's Dale's cone of experience is really amazing where it says 90% of what you do is retained. So make your learning much more engaging, much more collaborative, bring in demonstrations, experiments, hands-on learning and try to do things on a real-time basis that would really make it a interesting zen of learning. Wish you a very good luck. Have a fantastic day ahead.